Hello everybody and welcome to Skip Allen Paints and the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. This video is part of a series of videos about how to uninstall and install your Wacom driver. Now this particular video is concerning a PC only and it's not about updating your Wacom driver. This is about if you already have a Wacom driver installed, it's the one you want to use, and something has happened, something has gotten corrupted, uh, something's not working, a lot of people will go and uninstall their Wacom driver and then reinstall that same driver. Uh, if you were doing an update, I would recommend using the Wacom Desktop Center. But if you're uninstalling and, and, and installing the same driver, I don't think the Welcome Desktop Center will work for you. Okay, so with a PC, now I have another video for a Mac, but with a PC, you want to first back up your preferences, okay? And you would do that either from the Wacom Desktop Center or from your Wacom Tablet Preference Utility. Okay, so with the Desktop Center, Wacom Desktop Center, you would have your backup and you just click right there and the process is uh, taking, it starts for you and it asks you to save the backup somewhere. The other option is to go to, now I'm on Windows 10, if you're in Windows 7 or 8, you simply go to your apps and go all the way down to Wacom and click on your Wacom tablet. That's where you would find your Wacom desktop center, but you also will find the Wacom tablet preference file utility. And if you open that up, you have the option to back up your preferences. Okay. Now, if you, once you back up your preferences and you uninstall and reinstall the Wacom driver, then you can come back and use this tablet preference file utility to restore your settings. Okay. All right. So let's get rid of that. All right. So we've backed up our preferences. Now, after you've backed up your preferences, you want to disconnect your tablet from your computer. If you have a Cintiq, all you need to disconnect is the tablet part. Ju that's the part that goes to the USB port, not the part that goes to the video card. If you are using a tablet, then you want to disconnect from the computer at the USB port. If you are using a wireless tablet, don't have one, never have had one, so I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I'm guessing there's a little Bluetooth device that fits into your USB port that communicates with your tablet. You want to remove that little USB, uh, that Bluetooth device from your USB port and your tablet will be disconnected. Okay, now after your tablet is disconnected, you want to uninstall your Wacom driver. Now here in this document, I, I say download new driver from Wacom. That's because I was using this document for updating uh, a, a new driver. In, the, in this case, we already have our driver saved somewhere where we downloaded it from Wacom and it's in our downloads. And then we've installed it uh, on the computer. So as long as you have that original exe file, then you don't need to download again. But if you don't have it, then yes, go ahead and download the driver from Wacom. Okay, to uninstall the Wacom driver from uh, a PC, you would go to, in Windows 10, you would go to Settings. In Windows 7 and 8, you would go to your Control Panel and to your Program Files and you would uninstall from there. But in Windows 10, you would click on this little part over here called System, Display, Notifications, Apps, and Power. Then you would go to Apps Features, and you would run down the list until you find the Wacom tablet. And it'll be near the bottom where the W's are. 
Okay, Wacom tablet. And you would simply click on it and you have the option to either, in Windows 10, it'll say modify or uninstall. Um, in the other windows, it probably says repair or, or something like that. I, I can't really remember. But you would click uninstall and that would cleanly uninstall the uh, Wacom tablet from uh, your system. Okay, so let's close that. After you go through that uninstall process, you will re reboot your computer. After the computer starts again, then you will go to where you'd save that exe file, that uh, executable file that is your driver, and you double click it and it will install the new driver cleanly. It's real simple. Then the next thing you do is you go reboot your computer again. You have to do that again so that the driver takes effect. Once it comes back up and you've logged back into your computer, then you can connect your tablet to your computer. Okay, so whatever you disconnected before, just connect it. And at that point, you can go back to the um, apps and go back to your Wacom tablet preference file utility and click on restore and restore your settings. You can also restore here. There will be a restore option available to you at that point. So once you restore, you're back in business. Everything would be the same before you had your problem with your driver. Okay, hope that helps. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.